Reminder terms allow us to specify how and when reminders are created. We create the reminder terms, then assign them to our customers. And reminder terms can contain different levels and dictate how many different reminders will be sent to a customer. And each reminder will normally look different than those on the later levels. As an example, we could set up a reminder term code with three levels that total no more than six reminders. An invoice can appear on a maximum of six reminders, where the first is created based on what we specify in level one, the second on two, and the remaining reminders on level three that all look identical. If a single overdue invoice appears on five different reminders, then all reminders to that customer are blocked, and we normally expect to hand the customer dossier over to an external collections agency that handles collection of the overdue invoices. So let's look at setting up a reminder term by going to the relevant page first of all. We can do that by searching for our reminder terms, and we can create a new line by going to a new line or simply hitting the new up top. The fields available to us to fill in include the code and description fields, which is our unique identifier and detail. We have max number of reminders for the maximum number of reminders that can be sent for a single invoice. Post interest, uh, any interest on the reminder is posted to the GL and customer accounts when the reminder is issued. This interest will be an open ledger entry. The reminder can then be created and interest calculated when this entry is overdue. The GL account used to handle this is specified on the customer posting group assigned to the customer. If we have a quick look at that and we'll select show all accounts. Scroll just a little bit over to the right. We can see the interest account is specified here. A quick uh, note is the additional fee account and the additional fee per line account, which we can see there is two more fields, post additional fee and post additional fee per line. And um, these operate the same as the post interest, but only for additional fees instead, even up to the uh, account specified in the customer posting group, as I've just demonstrated. The next field is the minimum amount field, which is the minimum amount the customer must owe before a reminder is created. When we set this up, we can next look at setting up reminder levels.